Welcome to Father and Son Adventures of Iowa. I'm Tim. I'm Tyler. And we haven't been on camera for a while. We just got through uh, the whole month of May and half the month of June with the woods that we like to go to. It's been flooded pretty much the whole time. And uh, we got through graduations. My daughter graduated. She's joined the Navy. So we just had a graduation party for her. Congratulations, Sydney. Um, we're just going to go on a day hike and we're just going to do a little fishing. Um, I'd like to try to set up that uh, uh, fire ring, that uh, idea that I had. So stay tuned. Talk to you in a little bit. Alright, so we're making our way through this. Uh, the gnats are so bad that we got our head nets out. We're making our way through this tall grass, but we're following a game trail around, I don't know if you can see it out there through the tree or not, this lake. There's an area over there I'd like to try to set up a semi-permanent camp. Anyway, my son Tyler, the bugs were just attacking him so bad we decided to get the head nets out. Stay tuned. All right, that barrel right there, I found along that fence line back there where the tall grass is and that's what we're going to set up for a uh, fire pit. Tyler's down there on shore watching our fishing lines. We got our fishing hole set up and we're going to set up a little camp right here. Just a day camp. Hang some hammocks. Stay tuned. Do they bite? Oh yeah. So what we got here is we got Tyler caught a catfish and the water moccasin, water moccasin wants his catfish. Oh, there he goes. Woo. Water moccasin gave up. Well, I don't want it to come back. It won't. Mm -hmm. But that's what I want you to watch out for for snakes. Yeah. This puff is heavy too. Good job, Tyler. All right, I got to get some bank line for us, okay? Just get it on shore. Woohoo! Good job. Where are we gonna keep it? At? I'm gonna put it on a stringer. Oh, okay. All right, I'm gonna go get some bank line. That was like right next to your pool. So I don't even notice. The snake was? Yeah. Oh well. Wait, are water moccasins poisonous? Yep. So... But they're. All snakes are going to leave you alone unless you corner them. But that was so cool. You caught the fish and the... Uh... The water, no, no, no. So, like, I caught the fish, right? And it was, like, giving me a bite. I was like, awesome. I caught a fish. I saw it was a catfish. I was like, yes. And all I see is a water moccasin come over. And I was like, uh, daddy? <laughs> that is so cool, man. So cool. All right. Okay, Tyler's fishing. He's watching my pole and his pole. Um, this spring when I was out here in these woods, I found a plank, a wooden plank, that had washed up somewhere. And uh, I thought that I'd try to find it <clears throat> and set up a bench. I got the fire going in the fire ring, which was just a cutoff. 55 gallon barrel drum that I found along the uh, fence line and uh, I went and found a couple of uh, fence posts that I had seen um, this spring. Oop, I just I just kicked up a deer. Earlier I had a deer snorting at me and I looked up and it was about I don't know 50 feet away. So that's what that's what I'm trying to do is see if I can find that plank and drag it over there. See you in a little bit. All right, so Tyler's on fire duty. Here's our fire pit that we made out of stuff that we just found in the timber. Those fence posts I found. I set that half barrel on top of it. Keep air underneath. It's got plenty of ventilation on the bottom, so if it rains, it's going to uh, drain out. And then we made uh, a uh, bushcraft table. So 
So now we kind of have a semi-permanent uh, semi-permanent campsite to come to. Um, I don't know if you, you see this, but right in there, that's a deer trail right there. And so it's probably always, pretty much always going to be open. Um, we're going to set up the hammocks here shortly. Alright, so what he's doing right now is actually just uh, sharpening our knife because we're going to be cooking some dinner or lunch. Yeah, whatever, just a snack or... We're going to be cooking something. We're going to cook the catfish that you caught. Yep. So, right now, we're uh, walking down uh, this path that we made, and we're going to go get that catfish. He's leading the way, and we're going to clean the fish down here where we were fishing. Um, <clears throat> there's a lot of like long grass, as you can see, but we... There was already kind of a trail, there was just a lot of trees in the way we had to kind of chop down. You can kind of see, but I mean, other words, it's really nice. It's kind of muddy down there. Ooh. Let's see here. We got here. Clam. Or, I don't know, some type of shell. It used to be live at one point. Mm, there's a dead fish right there, but, uh. You can uh, go down here. Wow. Oh my god, you see the snake? I see it. Where? Let me see if it's a snake. I think that's. Uh, never mind, that might be bark. That little bouncy thing right there. I thought that was a snake. <laughs> okay, so right now we're kind of, he's pulling in the catfish. And you're gonna be able to see up close. Cause I mean, it was a pretty far picture at first. So. Let's see, I can't really see, it's really sad. And he's fighting. <laughs> wow. Actually, do you think we could see do you think you, we would be able to see where um, the, the snake actually bit? I, I couldn't, I never could see uh, any teeth marks. Uh. Fish is still alive, I wouldn't worry about it. Ooh. Body, so, uh, if you puke easily, please turn around. So you just want to be careful of these stingers. Stingers, yeah. Please turn around. Please turn around. 
We don't want any bad views, bad anything on this video. Cool. Have you ever gutted a catfish? Sorry about that. It was really close. Alright, sorry about that. <clears throat> and we're back. Right now he's actually using the pliers from the Leatherman that uh, Farrell gave us, so thank you very much, Farrell. There we go, some shade. Really good picture right here, actually. Oh. Well, yep, this fish is going to be really good. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about right there. I just got poked with that stinger. Where? Into the glove, but I could feel it on my palm of my hand. It didn't go in. But you just felt the stinger? Well, it went through the leather on the glove. Mm. Sorry guys if the camera keeps going off. There's a bunch of gnats going on the screen, so... It's going to be nice and tender. Are you gutting it? Is the fish still alive? <laughs> Not for long. Oh, it's still alive? Gosh dang. What? Did the fish eat that? Mm -hmm. oh, I, was, I was about to say. Actually, let's try to get a little over. Yeah, sorry about this, guys. Uh, it's, it's getting really sunny. I can't really see the screen. So, uh, yeah. mm. let's All see. Right. The, let's see the fish. Yep. All right, we're gonna um, put it in the bag. All right. Is there like an 
easier way of tightening this. How much bone is it? Is this is? I don't. I'm, I'm not sure. Is catfish bony or? So we got a willow tree uh, because it's so green. Up to this fish, it's bloody and gory, but it's so good. You should probably cut this part out while I'm walking over here. Understand the change camera views. Stinger still on it. Mm -hmm. Yep, but they won't. Mm -hmm. Alright, guys, so I'm going to be holding this and just wow. I mean, this is going to be really good. There's actually a stinger. <laughs> it's a little close, I know, but I mean, we got it. He's, he's Preparating the fire so that we can actually set the fish in, but <clears throat> let's we'll see here. Mm -mm -mm. All you fish lovers out there, doesn't it just look divine? You know what I mean? Stupid man. <clears throat> Sorry. But uh, yeah, man. This fish looks so good. Like, oh, sorry. It's actually to try to zoom out. Oh, it's already zoomed out. Over. I can't get it. Sorry about this. Hmm. Just, I mean, I'm probably, he's probably gonna cut like all the parts out, like pretty much a lot of parts, but. Let's see. Oh, that's cool. You made a stand. Smart thinking. Well, this is gonna be cooked in like five minutes. So uh we'll get back to you when uh when it's cooked or before it is. So uh yeah. Alright guys, so uh yeah, my dad just uh went to go get some uh 
some uh, water so we can put this fire out. But uh, what we're gonna be do what we're doing right now is this fish is actually really cooking good. The only thing I'm scared of is actually just like biting into some bone because I've choked on bone before, and it was not good. But uh, yeah, uh, our fire is going pretty good. Our fish is cooking pretty well. Uh, I mean, for we made another. We had to move actually the stand. We had to move it a little bit because. Uh, see that yeah like well, just move the stand but uh i think this timber is like really cool it's a uh, caught two catfish about it um because we were actually really busy but his fishing poles were still out there and uh i'm very super well not nah, i shouldn't say that I sh i'm very cautious of the snakes right now because one i because when we were fighting for this fish, you might already saw, I don't know if he recorded the whole thing of me having to fight it. And then when he left, he took the video camera with him. And um, that snake, after he left, I got scared because I don't know what to deal with snakes. And that snake was stalking me and keeping out on me. And then every time I looked at it, it would go underwater, slither over somewhere else, closer to me, go up. And I had to look for it because it's camouflage. And once I found it, um, then it would go under, and then, like, the, s the second time it went under, I couldn't find it again. I saw it go under, and then I lost it, because it, it, like, started going to my right, and then I lost it. Sorry about that. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's it's really, I'm, I'm kind of being, like, a little, like, overprotective about it, but, like, I mean, it really, it's spooking me out. I'm being paranoid and everything, but, oh, here he is back with the water. Oh, sorry about my finger. Mm. Nasty water. Are we gonna? Uh, maybe not today. Hmm? Never mind. Um, I was I was thinking of something. I don't remember what I was gonna say. <clears throat> All right, so uh, we'll get back to you when the fish is cooked. So uh, stay tuned. All right, so right now we're. Uh, ooh. Ah, ah. Oh, sorry about that. We got stuck. Um. We're going over to the Wapsie River Sandbar. Let's see. Ooh, it's very nice over here. Really, really nice. I don't know if you can see this right now because we're kind of a little far, but well, we're actually not that far. But um, I'll actually zoom in up here. I mean, this place is beautiful. So the river comes from around the corner there, and when it's when it's high, when it was high this spring. Uh, well, in, a, in an earlier video, I showed that these um, two maple trees, that one still got leaves on it. So does that one. Uh, fell down because they just got undermined from the river right yeah. here. But uh, usually this is only three or four feet deep, and then you'll have areas that are only, you know, maybe a foot deep. Uh, you've got to get out of your ca kayak or your canoe and actually walk through it. But that's what that is, is a sandbar. And the Wapsie, it's called the Wapsie Pinnacan River. It's an Iowa Indian tribe name. I don't know which, uh, which tribe, but anyway. Um, so this is, this is the river we're gonna canoe on probably in a couple of weeks or four weeks, maybe. Something like that. Um, we'll, we'll find a sandbar like that. And someplace it's got some trees to hang some hammocks and uh, you know, we're gonna, gonna be take a, we're gonna take a couple of days to float the river. Um, normally, from where we put in to where we take out, you can do it in about six hours, but uh, uh, we'll take a couple of days. So. Sounds, sounds good. All right. Well, we're gonna go check on the fish, so stay tuned. Okay, so uh, we just finished actually cooking the fish, and it looks nice and cooked. 
you can see here, I'll actually kind of zoom in a little bit and uh, yeah, oh, yeah. check That's that done. out. Mm. Golden brown. Yep. All right. I'm going to use my leather, Leatherman Wave that Pharaoh gave us. Thank you, Alan. Thank you. When you cut it, when you cut the line, does it feel just tender? The fish? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hopefully these gnats or flies aren't going to try to eat it while we do. There's a lot of gnats or anything. Look how flaky that fish is. You see it? Oh. Oh yeah. There you go. Oh, you got to take your bug net off. Mmm. Mmm. Smoky. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Ow. Ooh, I just cut my arm. Okay. So, um, <laughs> I was watching a video this morning, and I can't remember. I think K-Dog Crazy liked it, and that's why I was watching it. But um, the dude says, everything, there's an unwritten rule for YouTube that every time you cook on camera, you got to take the first bite on camera. So, why don't you show me taking the first bite? Gosh, this fish is so flaky. Let's see mm. it. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Looks good. All right, guys, we're gonna um, we're gonna eat this, and we'll get back to you. All right. Thanks. What do you think? Really good. You can take the smoke, taste the smokiness yeah, from I know. the campfire. This bushcraft table that I made, very solid. Hopefully, uh, it'll still be here next time we come. I found the barn board. This is a highly flooded area. Like I said, it was flooded all, all spring pretty much. So the barn board was just here in the timber. I found a couple of them and I was able to uh, use my pocket saw and just cut through them and splash them on. So peaceful back here. All right, so I'm pretty sure this is where our video ends when the fire does. So, uh, yeah, we're not gonna, we're probably gonna tape a little bit walking out, but oh, yeah, well, um, I would like to pick up some trash on the way out. I saw some on the way in, so oh, yeah, well, uh, then this isn't the end. I was wrong, but uh, we're gonna keep oh, going. It's never the end, <laughs> right? Yeah. So this is our um, water containment. It's a two liter Coke bottle. And it's a Coke bottle because it's got this little neck area here. It's got this neck area here. I just tie a clove hitch at the top. Mm -hmm. And then I tie just a series of overhand knots. And then I come down to the bottom with the two ends. And I tie an overhand knot. And then I tie, I wrap it around, and I tie a square knot. And so it's easily removed because both of those knots are tension that 
keeps them tight, but you, you loosen the tension, then you're able to uh, release these. So if this bottle gets trashed or whatever, and then our Sawyer squeeze fits perfectly on this. So. What were you saying if the bottle gets trashed? Oh yeah, you just drink another Diet Coke and <laughs> and then you've got um, another water bottle. And the wife came home with a 1.25 liter bottle. It's the exact same height, only it's uh, smaller. I mean in diameter. So I'm gonna actually lash on some string onto them too, but. I just, I just carabiner this onto the backpack and, you know? Yep. It doesn't weigh anything, so. Yeah, it's very light. And it just goes on your backpack, yeah, really easy, nice, so. All right, I'm gonna stir this and go down and get one more two liter of water and I think we're gonna be okay. I don't know if we recorded it or not, but uh, I'm just going to say, uh, we were saying that uh, hopefully this place gets uh, nice and treated well because we've seen like other campsites that actually have been here recently. Like we saw like a Red Bull, I saw a Red Bull can and it's not like, it's not that bad. So I bet like maybe like a couple weeks ago, maybe a week or two ago after a couple of downpours, um, they left it there. Um, well, you want to walk with me to the... Oh, sure, yeah. Get some more water. Yep. Actually, on the way down, I might show the Red Are you Bull. still taping? Yep. So, like I said, this is the, uh, this is the deer path right here. So, this will this will probably be worn down most of the time. And then there's one right here that goes down to the lake. Right there, right in the middle of the screen, right there. Right there is the deer path, but uh, yep. <clears throat> We're gonna be going through the other one. Which, I mean, that's all right, I mean. No, good thing that the deer are here, you know. It's not like a lot of hunters are around here a lot. Um, but yeah, especially on the shoreline, there's so much trash, I hope we can, I, I'm gonna pick up. And like, look, 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 look. I mean, at least, I don't know if this was from, oh, I don't know, the um, flooding or not. And uh, it's kind of blurry, but it's a fish head. And I don't know, actually, I don't, I don't know if that clam I actually picked up was, part, no, no, no. It's, there's a clam right here. Oh, never mind. I was, I was right. That was a clam. I'm pretty sure. Oh, and uh, right over here was the Red Bull can, but uh, before he grabs it all, I'm gonna get down there so you guys can see it. The clam shell. Okay, so. Yep. Hey, I have a question on the way up. I, I want to see if I was right. Um, right here, is this a clamshell? No, that's a part of the gill of uh, the fish kill. Well, the carp. Yeah, I was wrong. I picked that up. <laughs> no, no, that's from the carp. Sorry, YouTube. My facts were wrong. I, I already knew I was probably wrong because I saw it on the fish heads, so, I mean, well, the carp heads, so, I, I don't know, but, you know, we all make mistakes, and, like, I knew anyways. <clears throat> Oh, 
All right, so let's see. This has been six minutes and 25 seconds so far, so. Oh, just this tape, so. It's just. Did you turn it off? Uh-uh. Oh. I think you can turn it off. People know how to put out a campfire. <laughs> okay. All right, we're gonna pick up some trash maybe, so stay tuned. Hey, welcome back. This is Tim and Tyler. How you doing? Uh, Father and Son Adventures of Iowa. We were all packed up, ready to ha uh, hike out of this woods. The gnats are just nasty, so that's why we got our head nets on. Um, we're gonna pick up a little trash along the way and uh, just hang in there and uh, we'll be right back to you. Thanks. All right, so uh, he just picked up a beer can and actually ended up having shotgun shell. Well, um, not sh should I say? Uh, I don't know how to say this. Sh slugs. Slugs, yes, thank you. Somebody, uh, oh, yeah, it wasn't slugs through the beer can, but. Bullet shots? Mm -hmm. But, yeah, right over here, slugs right through the barrel, but, I mean, it's all okay. It's on their part. Oh, it's a thermos. I didn't even know it's that. Mm -hmm water cooler or uh, canteen or something yeah I got a bigger garbage bag here we're not doing the barrel right no there's some more back here Oh yeah, that's right. Just kind of sad of what people are doing to innocent woods. And timber. I mean, I, whenever I see trash on the ground, I'm just wondering, like, not so much cigarette buds, but like, just like Coca Cola cans and stuff like that. Just why? You know? Can't walk a few inches to go get, put it in a trash bag or a trash can, or if it's outside, you can't just keep it in your car. What's that? That's a 40. <laughs> There's a couple of them. Can you pick up that? Um, that's a a uh, protein or a propane tank. Pick that up. Oh, it's all rusty. Ah! Ah! Well, we had one of these. We have one of these. Huh? I said we have a, exactly kind of one of these. Yeah, the one in my backpack. It's got propane in it. Yep. And that was, I mean, it's not the 70s, but like, it looked like it, it was very rusty. Ow! Sorry, tripping on some branches. Wow, you can, I don't know if you guys can see, but there is. Alright, um, stay tuned, you two. Alright. Yep, we're walking out. This is about the end of our journey in these woods. This is all the trash we have right now. And uh, yep. So yeah, we'll probably show you at the end of the video how much trash we actually got. But uh, until then, stay tuned.